locked in. Look at what we have here, folks. To the only show that matters. The cream of the crop. Duke loves wrestling. And there is no one that does it better than your host. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. The Duke. And I'm all out of bubblegum. USA, 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 USA. Oh, please, please. You know, I would call Hacksaw Jim Duggan and have him hit you with a two by four, but I might have to just do it myself. Oh, whatever, wise guy. That was that was a perfect Hacksaw Jim Duggan impersonation. I don't know about that. Well, well, you don't know a lot, a lot of things. We know that. I know plenty. Also, that a two by four is maybe one of the best gimmicks of all time. Sure. Sure, pretty dangerous. They, were they inflatable two by fours? Yes, they were. We had toys that yep. were inflatable. I inflatable. think they had a foam one too. Do- and the kids would hit each other. With that's right. Them. Yeah. What so a that- great. I, what did that cost? See, it, that's when Vince McMahon had a little. He had a little something. But it he had make, a little magic. It did not make sense, which was the funniest part about well, it. Well, sometimes it doesn't have to. Sure. They made it, it into worked. something. Yeah. Simple. What does two by fours have to do with patriotism? Boy, I don't know. They made it work. <laughs> well, welcome back to Duke Loves Wrestling. I am the Duke, and yes, I do enjoy doing pro wrestling impersonations. I'm going to keep on doing them, no matter what my illustrious co-host, the Boston bad boy, I am Mike Pelosi, says. It brings to mind uh, what is the point of your impressions, since they're so far removed from any kind of reality. They're excellent impressions. They're excellent, okay? Not good, not great, excellent. Boy. Excellence in execution. It's going to be a long show. (laughs) I can, I can tell already. Yep. You better strap yourself in, pal. What's it like being the most vocal liberal in all of pro wrestling? Listen, we're going to find out because we're going to speak to a guy who has gone viral. Okay. We're talking about the progressive liberal Daniel Richards. Strange yeah. dude. Well, we got a dirty dozen coming up 12 minutes with this That's guy. That's right. Let's 12 minutes with him. Let's see what he can do with that because uh, he's interesting. Yeah, I mean, I, we, we read a lot about it. Yeah. It was all over. The, it's starting to sprout everywhere. Dead spin and all over those places. It's, I laugh. I really had a real, an actual LOL. I laughed when I saw it, when, I, when you posted Clinton that. Hillary Clinton pictures <laughs> all over himself. I posted brilliant. on Duke Loves Wrestling uh, Facebook good. page and the Twitter, folks. It's This guy's unbelievable. Just over the top. You know. Speaking of the top, who made it to the top five stories in pro wrestling? We're going to reveal that with Run the Ropes, all that, plus more of your listener-submitted questions, a.k.a. Ask Duke. But before we get to any of that, Boston Bad Boy. Yeah. This week on Monday Night Raw. Which I don't watch because which, it's intolerable. It's undigestible. Well, it's pretty interesting this week because they had a uh, LeVar Ball. And his two sons. You know what? You got to explain this whole ball phenomenon to me. Well, because I see it all over social media. I'm yeah. not. A, I'm not a sports guy, especially since those friggin' Kiwis took the cup. They won it. Yes, they. They do. won As it. They should. Bastards. As they, we knew they were going to win. Come so on. explain this whole ball thing to me, because I, I don't know. I, I it's uh, basketball. Yes. It's related to the sport it's of basketball. Related to the sport okay, of good. Basketball. I, I get that far. Le- Le- Levar Ball is like a, a super parent. He, oh, like a. You know, these people who push their kids. Sure. Like a stage stage parent. Yeah, but, but you know, he's kind of funny with it. Two, He has his sons. Mm-hmm. Two of them are, are elite basketball players. Okay. One of them just got uh, accepted to UCLA to play right. basketball yep. for them. The other one just got drafted by the L.A. Lakers. All right, so that's good. First round in, in the NBA draft. Y- you sent me a clip that happened on, on Raw. So I, 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 but I didn't have the backstory, but I watched it. Yeah. Because I wanted to be prepared. So sure. I, now I know who these, the kid comes out, oh, the older of the two sons. He's wearing slippers. Uh, with socks. Those are the first slides. They're slides. I, whatever. They're called it's, slides. I call them prison shoes. $222. Prison shoes. Because that's all they let you wear in prison. $222 for those. Here's the thing. <laughs> you can have as much money as you want. You can Big have as much talent. Brand. If you can have as much talent as you want, uh, but nothing buys class. Well. So I think that this kid's, what's he, 19, 20? Yeah, he's He's, he's, he's young super kid. young. Yeah. And he's going to be playing in the NBA. That's right. Uh, Boy, that's going to be a long road to hoe, I'll tell you. Because... Whoa. Clearly, uh, the old man does a lot of talking. I don't know if this kid. I just get him some. Sh- if he's selling shoes, right? He's got these selling expensive shoes. Yeah, allegedly selling plenty of them. Uh, <laughs> yeah, who knows? But wear some shoes. That's all. Have a little respect for yourself. He's wearing slides. That's the. End They're thing. not. Sh- you don't go out of the house dressed like that. Two hundred twenty-two dollars. He could have bought a pair of actual shoes for less than half of that. Well, his sneakers are like five hundred dollars. Please, I'm telling you, man. 
What's a pair of Air Jordans? What a pair of Jordans go to right now? They don't cost that much. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they ever cost that yeah, much. Yeah, ever. Like, this is just ridiculous. All right, so you get but, this guy who's a crazy dad. Yeah, he comes on Monday Night Raw yeah. with his two sons. It's part of the Miz TV segment. and Yeah, do they do that all the time? Yeah. Miz, Miz has his own like little it talk show. It was effing ponderous, man. It was hilarious. It, but, well, it's, it's hilarious because this guy's crazy. Yeah. But this guy's not a wrestler. No, not at all. This is all. This is he straight. He this, went is off the this is how this guy is. Went off the rails. Yeah. So these guys are doing pro wrestling. Yep. And this guy's doing real life. Yep. And this is what happens. Yeah. Takes his shirt off, raising all kinds of hell. Yeah. Help. When I first saw it, I said, wow, Montel Williams really buffed up. Give him a shout he really, out to Montel he, Williams. He, <laughs> he really was cut. And Montel looks like he's in good shape. But yeah, I, he is. this guy was. This guy, LeVar. Yeah. Unbelievable. So the segment's going on. And, and you know, for the most part, it's, it's pretty funny. Um, they're not wrestlers and, and all that good stuff. We get that, but Miz is making fun of them. There's some banter back and forth, et cetera. Well, it starts off friendly, yes. and then it starts to turn. It, well, it definitely turns. That's right. You know, so LeVar takes his shirt off, like you said, yeah. and he's getting <laughs> pumped up. And then the youngest yeah. drops the N-word. Not once, but twice. Yeah, I, uh, I, I, I watched it and watched it again. Couldn't believe it. Yeah, he wasn't on camera. Uh, because it's when the other guy gets yeah, when introduced. Yeah, he cuts away to Dean Ambrose. Yeah. Yep. And you yep. hear, and you, and it's almost like. Did what? I hear that? Yeah. Did I hear that? Yep. No. Well, Twitter exploded. Everyone was saying. Was it this pretty kid, much? Did they? Everyone catch it instantaneously? Everyone caught it because it was just like I can't believe that just happened on on international TV. This Monday Night Raw is all over the world. Yeah. Well. So you know, I, I know the WWE has issued its uh, apology and everything. Yeah, we'll talk and, about that later. Yeah, run the ropes, but. I, I think that, uh, first of all, having worked in a media business, from a technical standpoint, uh, we should have a delay. Let's just get that out of the way. And we I should always have some sort thought of a, that Raw had a delay. but Most television shows do. Yep. Most television and radio shows are running something like an 8 or a 12 second delay. Now that happened so quickly, they could have easily just missed it and cut live to whatever and had well, a couple of seconds of awkward they or whatever. did edit it out of the replay. Well, thank God for that. Yeah, they did edit it out of the replay. I mean, I think you'd yeah. have to. I, but... Because um, it's it, it's it's hard to imagine that in this day and age uh, that can happen. Yep. Uh, with on live on TV. live television. Yeah. Well, um, and here's the problem. I mean, it's a derogatory word. We yeah. all know that. Um, unfortunately, a lot of folks in society use it too much. Yep. Yeah. It was clear he was being, even though I guess he felt he was joking around. He's being derogatory in the, in what he was saying. Yeah. But beyond that. What the hell's going on with LeVar Ball, the father? Well, <laughs> where his kid is on national, international TV talking like that. That's what it comes down to. And far be, yeah. it, far be it from me, from no, someone who's never had to suffer with dealing with prejudice on that level, with that kind of word or, or whatever, um, that, that's a lightning rod thing. That's a lightning that's, rod. It's, oh, it's overused, that term, lightning rod. But, but it's true, because there's no way to get around any use of that word being bad. Whether or not it's whatever, whatever spin you think you're putting on it, yep, uh, it's probably not coming off. No. So what the hell's going on with the father? You yeah. Know? Well, here's the thing. He's the hype man, right? Yep. He's the family hype man. He's driving this whole thing. I mean, I was reading up that he's one of the reasons that the kid even got drafted. Yeah. Like, he he was like, they were Pushing. he wasn't even on their radar he necessarily. He convinced the Lakers to draft. Uh, his, son. his son there. So it's so here's here's dad. He's got these stupid shoes. He's got these t shirts. <laughs> He's got them all set up on mannequins. Big they ball were, of bread, yeah. baby. All yeah. right, whatever. They got a funny last name. <laughs> sure. Fine, whatever. You've got to be a parent. And also, more than that, that's the simplest thing. You've got to tell your kids what's right and wrong, no matter what they think is right. Just in general. No matter right. No mm -hmm. matter what they hear, no matter what they see other people do. There's there's a line that says this is right and this is wrong. Mm -hmm. You you may see something, you may hear something, you need to reevaluate what your where you're going to stand on that. Uh, a and two, he's a manager, right? I mean, he's this he's the hype guy. He's the Sean Spicer of the family. He's he's the one doing <laughs> well, listen, all this. Let's the not be mean and all that. Let's <laughs> not be mean. Uh, he's a, I do he's love spicy, shape. but he's yeah. definitely a better shape. <laughs> oh come on, that's not right. Uh, Did, but didn't Trump say that about spicy? He did. He, he said he, he took him off camera because he come. Isn't that insane? That is just terrible. That's Boy. terrible. Uh, but as the manager, right? If you have a professional uh, baseball player, basketball player, football player. Actor, sure. Uh, pick any big name. Actor. Somebody who's going to be out front on yeah, TV. Yeah, somebody who's whatever. doing a. You know, you have an actor who's doing a promo circuit on all the late night shows, right? They're never going to accidentally, or probably on purpose, no matter what their issue is, say that. Yeah. No matter what. No matter what. Yeah. They're not, and they're going to stay away from a whole host of issues. Yep. 
Yep. Now, this this kid's young. He was caught up in the moment, probably. Doesn't matter. If you want this brand to be A-level, you've got to make sure that these people you're working with That's right. are A-level. Are they your clients or are they your family? Yep. Either way. Yep, yep. They gotta, what, right is right. Yeah, they got to get on. Look, clean up the language. Be smart about it. Don't ruin your brand before it even well, really takes off. Seriously. I mean, I think there's there's you know? going to be a lot of soul searching going yep. on in that family. Yep. And I think that they need to figure out what they want to do. Sure. And if they want to be professional, they need to act professional. You can't have these slip-ups. Now, again, a kid is a kid. Yep. But, 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 you're putting these kids in the limelight. So are they prepared? To be judged by all. Are they prepared yeah, or not? It's true. And, and, and f call it right or wrong. Twitter explodes immediately. Mm. Uh, the word is out there. So whether or not, whatever the intent is law, it doesn't matter what it is. Uh, it, it, and it that's going to follow that kid for a period of time. You know that's what's... It could be more than a it, period of time. It, it is what People it is. have said stupid things yeah. that they never got past. It's true. And, it's true. And, you know, who is this kid, really, yeah. right now? Yeah. You know, he the, the brother is, the, is, is on the up and coming. He's sort of next in line to be yep. an up and coming. Yep. I don't know. I mean, it, again, it's, I think it's easy to be the hype man. It's easy to go out there and be, you know, live vicariously through your kids. Do a little parenting, and 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 just it's obvious here. Everybody yeah. knows. Yeah. Everybody knows yeah. right and wrong. That wasn't the right thing, and and it's just it's unfortunate. And uh, I hope they clean this up because boy. And again, I, the WWE, if 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 they if they don't have a, a, a delay policy uh, for a live event, get one. <laughs> get one. You know, you know what that does? That uh, makes it a lot uh, easier when you say sorry yep. to say we've done everything we can because there's always going to be a variable course, there, and I think people understand that. Yep. Um, and I don't think anyone's holding the WWE uh, accountable. Well, I didn't that. tell the kid to say, it, but no. I mean, hey, look, big baller brand, Levar Ball. Please talk to your kids. Clean up the language, and the kid should do the apology. You know, we hear about we hear about the dad. Well, do it as a family. Do it as a family. Well, but but the kid has to sure. have recognizance with the family. And understand next, with the family together. That's right. I agree. They'll do a Today Show thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's got to be real. It's got to be real. And I, you know, it, yep. it, it maybe it shouldn't follow this kid around, but got to make it right. I agree. I agree. With that said, run the ropes. It's time to run the ropes. I give my opinion on the top five stories in the world of professional wrestling. Let's go. Gorgeous ladies of wrestling a hit. That's right. That's the word all over the place, folks. The revamped version of Glow, a.k.a. Gorgeous Ladies of Wrestling, has been one of the more popular debuts for a series on Netflix. Okay? Now, like I told you last week, this is a uh, dramatic comedy about a sleazeball promoter that creates an all-female wrestling company. The show is hilarious, and I dare I say it's actually better than the original. You gotta head over to uh, Netflix and check it out. Boston Bad Boy, stop wasting time. Uh, well, you know, uh, I do have Netflix. I yep. have not checked it out yet. You're gonna but love it, you know man. what? I think that um, I need. Is it all the episodes out already? Yeah, or it's all oh, out. so we can, can watch can right through. Binge, that man. works for me yep. because I can't start and stop. I've got to. If I got to go through it, I got to go through it. Have you been through it already? Loved it. All right. Well, I'll, I I always dislike your opinion, but if Netflix says it's good and the people I dislike have spoken, your face. <laughs> Big Cass and Enzo no longer a team. Yep, that's right. I've been predicting this for about a year now. Okay, and we saw it on WWE Raw last week and this week. Big Cass has attacked Enzo Amore. Now it's clear that Cass is nothing but a. Big weight holding back Enzo, okay? So now at least he's on his own. He can spread his wings. It'll be interesting to see which one of the two makes it further in the wrestling business. But my money is on Enzo. I have nothing to say about this. Well, your Italian brother's there. Wow. You know, we were just talking about race relations, and for you to call me out for being Italian for no other reason than other it's than... I, nationality. My... What is race, really? We're all humans. We're a human race. <laughs> Cody Rhodes is a world champion. Yeah, that sounds kind of strange to me, too. But, yes, folks, you uh, heard it right. Cody Rhodes, the man formerly known as Stardust that's right. in the WWE, he won the Ring of Honor World Heavyweight Championship. Mm -hmm. Now, this comes as a pleasant surprise considering he left the WWE because he felt that Vince and Triple H weren't taking him seriously enough. <laughs> you think? Okay. Because he felt he was a main event guy. Well, well, well hey. 
There you go. Will Cody hold on to the uh, ROH title, or was this a fluke? I think it was a fluke. I, well, stay tuned. I have a hard time thinking you're actually happy for this guy, but we'll get into that later on. Nah, we're not going to talk about that later. Daniel Bryan set to make a return. Uh, it's possible, but it sure won't be in the WWE. Daniel Bryan, a.k.a. the uh, SmackDown general manager, had the audacity to react to Cody Rhodes winning the ROH title by tweeting out the following to Cody. Quote, congratulations. Being Ring of Honor champ for 462 days transformed me as a wrestler and was one of the best times of my career. Enjoy it. Side note, if you hold the Ring of Honor title for 620, uh, 462 days, I may have to come after you, which would be 928 18 be forewarned final countdown now look i'm telling the whole world right now daniel bryan don't play games you better not leave the wwe when your contract is up and go to ring of honor and start wrestling again that would just be the worst thing you could ever do you're going to put your safety at risk you got a family to support you got a new baby I, you know, I'm a big fan of yours. I traveled to Philadelphia to see you in your first big match. I do not want to see you out there getting hurt, Daniel Bryan. Stop it. Now, if you think Vince McMahon would ever let a guy like Daniel Bryan out of a contract while he was still breathing, you are delusional, my friend. Absolutely delusional. You don't have to worry about him taking another bump because it's never going to be allowed to happen. Good. He's going to be left good. his endless Save good or bad. Himself. Probably good. Yeah. But doesn't make it right. And the number one story in the world of professional wrestling is... I covered it in the first segment. LeVar and the rest of his balls. <laughs> <laughs> they cause controversy on Raw. That's right, folks. As, as I told you before, LeVar Ball and, and his two sons, the youngest in particular, they went on Raw. Does he call his kids his two balls? No. But, okay. You know, that's what people make fun. They call uh, them I the balls. I, just, I was just They curious. are the balls. That's their, that's their <laughs> real last name, by the way. They won Raw, a PG show. Yeah. And, you know, the kid dropped the N-word twice on international TV, which is just terrible. So, of course, the WWE had to go in damage control. Yep. And they put out a statement. And I quote, The inappropriate language used by a guest during the Miz TV segment was not scripted and does not reflect the values of the WWE. Now, I, I believe that. Sure. I believe that. And again, There's we, no way they we talked about that. it. Yeah. Plenty of the Today Show. Yeah. I mean, anything where you're live. Of course. And that's live. Of course. Um, the only thing you can hope is that you could catch it in a delay or some sort of technical way to catch it. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's an unwinnable. When you're put in that position, yep. there is no good there's way no, out no of it. There's no good way out of it. So. I just think the only thing you can't do is make excuses. I think that, you, that, that WWE aside, if this person wants to become a real celebrity, to have a real future... They've got to get it together. Well, they should put out a statement. Apologize. And they haven't. Have they not? not or have they? Not at, as of this airtime for our show, right. no. Right. So. so you're saying as a family? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, Because uh, you they, don't let the kid swim by himself. Well, here's as the thing. As a family, you put out the statement. Well, let's think. If you're going to if you're gonna take your kids yep. and as the dad yep. and, and, and pull them, them along the world. Yep. and do all this hype, yep. you've got to take the hit yep. and the heat when the heat comes 100%. when they screw up. 100%. You know, if, it was, if, if it was a drunk driving incident, yep. if it was a domestic abuse, yep. you'd have to be the... You're the spokesman, you right? You stand up it's, and do it. It's easy to do the hype, right? Yeah. When yeah. you're out there selling t-shirts or shoes or bingo. slippers or whatever. Bingo, bingo. This is the hard work. Yep. Now, I don't have kids, but I assume that's the hard work. Absolutely. That if you're going to be the hype man... You got to take the heat too, and he should be taking the heat for this one. Absolutely, he's a dad. He's a Sean Spicer of the family. Take the <laughs> well, heat. Well, let's not say. You know, Sean apparently put on a few pounds, and that's why he's not. He's not in his job anymore. Nice. That's what the president said. Well, hey, I'm, I'm staying that out insane? of that one. I'm staying it's out insane. of that one because I like. I like spicy. Yeah. Well, spicy. You've heard what I think. What do you think? Do you think I'm a jerk? Yep. Do you agree with me? Maybe something in between. Head over to Facebook. Head over to Twitter. Type in Duke loves wrestling. Let me know. Up next. The progressive liberal Daniel Richards. What's up, guys? This is Babon from the You Should Play This podcast, and you are listening to Duke Loves Wrestling, but you're not listening to him play any good video games. Pro wrestling, give me a break. All right, who's on the line? This is a progressive liberal Daniel Richards. And I said it in November of 2016, 
You should listen. You should follow my liberal agenda. You should vote Hillary, but you chose not to. And now we're in a bigger mess than we've ever been before. To all you insecure men out there who want to vicariously live some power trip through a fascist, sexist president, forget about you. And to all the women out there who voted against their own interests, you should have stood with her. And to all you poor East Kentucky Hilljacks and all you people in the right-wing states who vote against your own interests, it's time now. There's no time like the present than to follow me, the progressive liberal, Daniel Richards. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Appalachian Mountain Wrestling. And everywhere I go throughout the country, I'm going nationwide. I am viral as we speak. Follow my liberal agenda, and you will be liberated. Wow. Talk about making an entrance there. <laughs> we are talking to the progressive liberal, Daniel Richards. Daniel, do you spew that liberal agenda everywhere you go? Well, spew, I think, is uh, such a condescending way to say it. I mean, I look, I, I speak my mind. And I have a platform to do so, and I, I'm happy to do so. And I wrestle in a lot of these red states, and those people have been voting against their own interests for a long time, and it doesn't help that Republicans like to gerrymander and redraw districts to help them win states. Um, you know, it gets state seats and then it, you know, serves them well in that. So these people need to smarten up. That's not working for him. Oh, man. Listen to this guy here. He, he's going all he's the way in. He's got an in. agenda. I'm telling you. He, he, really is does. he is fully in his safe space right now. I'm telling you. I'm tell he's not playing around here. No. There's no liberal tears there. But let's, <laughs> let's address the elephant in the room because, look, you're, you're going to have to be straight with the Duke, the Boston bad boy, and all of our listeners from around the world. Tell the truth. Are you really a progressive liberal? Uh, you're you're speaking to me. I mean, uh, this isn't an act. I I think if it was an act, it wouldn't resonate and draw the ire of uh, you know conservative right wing bigots uh, like it has. Wow. Now look, I I know the fans over at uh, Appalachian Mountain Wrestling. They haven't taken too kindly to you. You're not the most popular guy. In fact, you're the most hated man in all of Appalachian Mountain Wrestling. What, what's going on with that? These Trump supporters have no interest in details. They have no interest in any message that goes outside of their narrow-minded view that they have. So naturally, someone like me, someone who's different, someone who enunciates words and doesn't talk oh, with my a country goodness. Jack accent and they say Appalachian and pronounce pronounce it hollow instead of holler and things like that. They take great offense. And, and, you know, God forbid we talk badly about coal, the most antiquated, dirtiest uh, source of fuel there is. Hey, hey, that's clean coal, man. That's right. That's Tell clean him. coal. Tell him now. It burns. I, I Rick Perry just cliche. told me it burns cleanly. That's right. I, I hate to use the cliche of a clean coal is a dirty lie. That oh, my true. goodness. <laughs> that's oh a my good one. Goodness. So, wait, tell the truth here, okay? What does you the truth the whole time. I don't know, man. You got me a little shaky on this one. <laughs> Hillary Clinton, what does she mean to you? Because you, you wear that shirt. Yeah, where, where, did, you, wait, where did you get that shirt, yeah, where first did you get of that all? Shirt? I did a search uh, for, you know, just Hillary Clinton shirt. Hmm. And now, I most right-wingers would say your mom made it for you because you're still living in your mom's basement. Is. But is that true? I'm a, a successful real estate investor, property that. manager, real estate agent, uh, so I, I make plenty of money. I'm fine. Um, and unlike Donald Trump, I actually pay my contractors, so what about that? <laughs> Be careful. He's help, a Hall of Famer. Be careful. How about, how about that? Well, what I, what I need to know, though, is how secure is your email server? Uh -oh. I mean, you said you're a businessman, a yep. white-collar fella. Is it in the bathroom? You know, man, I probably need to get an IT guy over here to tell me how... How secure yeah, it better not be in your garage, That's man. right. Now, listen, word on the street, okay? And i got to let you know about this. Okay. The, the okay. National Wrestling Alliance World Heavyweight Champion, we're talking about Tim Perfect Storm. He sent me a message about you, okay? And he said, and I quote, I would never hit a lady, but I'd love to slap <laughs> Hillary Clinton's face right off that progressive liberal Daniel Richards. So how do you respond <laughs> to the National Wrestling Alliance World Heavyweight Champion? This guy defends the title all over the world. How do you respond to Tim Perfect Storm making threats like that? He's either one of two things. He's either legitimately ignorant or he's trying to placate a fan base that will cheer for anything and thus would cheer for him and, and sentiments like that. So he's so pandering. 
He's, yeah. he's pandering. Yeah, like, like Trump, exactly. he panders. Oh, my goodness. Exactly. And so since I am a little more popular than him right now, so he Whoa. wants to hop aboard the liberal train, that's fine. You talk a lot of, a lot of smack about this progressive liberal. You're talking, about, you're talking to two guys who grew up in a state that put Mike Dukakis up for president. That's okay? right. That's right. And I want you to tell me how you ended up being a progressive liberal coming from the hills. Well, I don't, I don't come from the hills. Uh-oh. That's the thing. But, <laughs> no way. I grew up in I grew up in Midlothian, Virginia, which, sorry, I mean, let's call it what it is. It's an upper middle class town. So. You're a carpet bagger. Tell the truth. You're a carpet bagger. You 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 little West Virginia silver spooner. Then you go up there to the uh, Appalachian West Mountains, Virginia, trying to spew Virginia. your 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 liberal agenda he to even, Trump's folks. He here. doesn't even want you to say West Virginia. God know, forbid you say God, West Virginia. God forbid. So you go up to 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 good hardworking we're talking about the salt of the earth americans and you're going to sit there and and disrespect the president of the united states how dare you he embarrasses the entire country you know you were asking me what uh what hillary means to me i think hillary would mean a much uh more positive atmosphere and uh i think we'd have a much more favorable uh reputation around the world right now she was our president as opposed to this bloated orange oh. toupee wearing piece of shit windbag now li- now listen what what does reputation have to do with anything really when there's coal to be dug there's there's shale to be squeezed That's for right. oil That's right. there, there's uh there's american steel to be mined That's right. what does that have to do with anything with with reputation Make around the world america great again well guys if i thought you believed any of that nonsense i would i would answer your question more seriously wow <laughs> is no. he questioning that you know yeah, just a typical no liberal way. i know typical yeah, liberal away. he does he doesn't run away. Away. with me follow me here I think liberals on the national scene are too apologetic. Uh-oh. I think we need to take a page out of the Republican playbook and stand by who we are and what we believe in. Yeah, but how is that going to help you when the NWA world champion wants to smack that shirt right off your chest? Yes, he does. He can want a gold toilet seat. Doesn't mean he's going to get oh. it. He's not going to get a win over I me. I think Trump has one of those. I know. He's not going to get a win over me. I'm open. For business. Uh oh. I'm getting more bookings by the day. So, again, if he wants to set this up, have his people call my people. The liberal wave Uh is is, is, is getting bigger and bigger. It's a tidal wave. Liberal liberal mania is running wild over here. Oh, Uh, my liberal wave is huge. Oh, my. Hey, 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 let's keep it PG now. Let's keep it PG. (laughs) So, let me ask you this Bo James, what does he think of of all this controversy that you've created here? Because I got to imagine, since he's the uh, booker over there, uh, matchmaker. Yeah, he's a matchmaker, Appalachian Mountain Wrestling. Excuse me, Mr. Uh, go by the rules here. Yeah, liberals what, are always right, I'm Duke. telling you, they always correct. I don't understand this. What does he think about this this thing that you're doing where you're beating the fans over the head with your liberal agenda? Bo is a, a you know, tobacco-chewing, God-fearing, <laughs> Leonard Skinner-loving, uh, <laughs> He says hillbilly. You know, so him and I are, are ver- two very different people. So let me ask you this, because I, I hear, you know, I keep my ear to the ground. I'm hearing that you've been uh, issuing challenges to guys like Bill Maher, uh, <laughs> saying that you would debate him anytime on his show. I'm hearing Stephen Colbert's name being thrown out there, saying that, you know, not only you debate him, you'll, you'll wrestle him because he's taking issue with your attitude. What's going on? Why are you calling out all these uh, celebrity political commentators and what have you? Well, I think you must have been watching Fox News because uh, they always uh, have the story wrong. Uh-oh. Typically, <laughs> you talk about fake news. There's nothing more fake than Fox News. I digress. Uh, Bill Maher is a champion of the sentiment I just echoed earlier, is that Democrats need to be unapologetic and move forward and take no prisoners. Terrible. You know, <laughs> you know it, that's, uh, that's the heart of his message right now. Stephen Colbert, I would tag, I would gladly tag with him. I would gladly stand beside Stephen Colbert because there's no one putting out more Trump jokes other than Trump himself, who is a joke, and my friends at the da- Trevor Noah at the Daily Show, and you know all those guys. What a name well, drop! What, what, yeah, well, a <laughs> almost more than the Duke. Yeah. Uh, I want to know though, if you're on Bill Maher's show, Bill gets mouthy as he's wont to do. Uh, what is your move? What 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 does the progressive liberal bring to the ring? 
How are you going to finish Bill Maher off? You know, if he gets too mouthy. Uh, Bill, I, I don't. He's see afraid. Bill and I have no. <laughs> uh, I don't see Bill and I getting into an argument. Yes. I mean, I'm sure we have some points. He might think you're more progressive than him. That's a good point. Bill Maher might not be appreciative of that at all. Uh, I, I think Bill and I, I'm on the same wavelength. As so that's got a lot of problems too. So let me ask you: if 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 Booker's want to get in touch with the progressive liberal. Daniel Richards, what's the best way they can reach you? You can keyword search the progressive liberal Daniel Richards on Facebook. And then my Twitter handle is uh, at Progress Lib, L I V 804. That's a Richmond, Virginia area code for all you people who don't know that. Um, <laughs> at Progress Lib 804. On Twitter. Well, here's what I want. Here's what I want to know is um, if you're one of those hardworking, salt to the earth people who are totally offended by this liberal nonsense. How is someone going to get in touch to kick your ass? Uh oh. Um, Where can they find you? North or south of the Mason Dixon line? Come on, carpetbagger. They're going to have a hard time finding me because I'm all over the place right now. Like, <laughs> oh. They'd probably find me in New York City here sooner or later. New York City? He must be a liberal. New York yeah, City. Those, he those must be. East Coast values coming through. Listen, progressive liberal Daniel Richards, your name has been buzzing all over the place. We saw you on uh, Deadspin. Uh, I, I know that uh, Sports Illustrated snooping around. I even hear that NBC is reaching out to you. You are a guy in high demand. We're going to have you come back on the Duke Loves Wrestling show later on in the summer so you can update us on your progress. But I'm telling you right now, I'm a little concerned for your safety here, especially <laughs> if the National Wrestling Alliance World Heavyweight Champion, Tim Perfect Storm, gets his hands on you. Okay, because I'm telling you right now, he doesn't appreciate people talking down on the President of the United States, the Hall of Famer, Mr. Donald Trump. Well, you know, this is going to be worse than the Hatfields and McCoys. I'm, this is going to be pretty serious. Yeah, this is bad. Do you have any closing words for us? Tim Storm, I'm not hard to find, especially right now. And to all you ignorant Trump supporters, just watch the news. If you actually did, I don't think you'd vote the way you have previously. Can you believe this guy? <laughs> now, you know, I've been called a lot of things in my life, including a dirty progressive liberal, but this guy, oh my, he's beyond. He, he takes the cake. Beyond. You know, what is this? This is Appalachian Mountain Wrestling. I'm, I'm going to yeah. put up the um, link to their YouTube. Yeah. Because they, they, you got to see them in action. Yeah, and they you know? do. I think it's every Tuesday. Yep. They uh, they update it, so they get a whole thing going on there. Subscribe to it. Check it out. It's pretty Shout cool. Shout out to Bo James. He's the booker out there. we got to get Bo James on, on the show sometime, and he can give us the real skinny yeah, let us because know about I, listen, if, if they got this guy in their in their stable, uh, I, can't wait to see, yeah. I can't wait to see who else is, <laughs> what else is, next? What else is coming down the yeah. pipeline. But I, I'll tell you, though, he, he really takes the cake. I mean, just wow. Well, you know, I have to say, uh, whether he really believes it or not, what a effing brilliant gimmick. Sure. We talk a lot about gimmicks. Sure. And uh, this one just had me laughing. And this had a bunch of guys on the page laughing, thinking, good timing. Uh, and, you know, it, if he did the progressive liberal shtick here in the Northeast, oh, you know, it's okay, not going to go would, over as well. Well, it'd be funny. Yeah. But the fact that he's in the heart of coal country. And those fans can't stand him. And those fans talk they about a cannot heel. stand him. Yeah. This is what I'm talking about. Yeah. The WWE needs to get back to this stuff. The back WWE up, needs up. to understand what a real heel is. Don't do that. Listen, they screwed up your, your quote unquote nemesis. They can't even make him into a real heel. You're the only person who hates that guy. And I and I hate him with every bone in my yeah, body. Yeah, well, that's one. Yeah. But they can't figure out what to do. Some people don't like him. They made him kill off The Undertaker. And then, and then that didn't even work. I'm that gonna that send, deflated. I'm going to send the progressive liberal, Daniel Richards, to go after Reigns. Oh, boy. Maybe he can straighten him out for me. I don't know if I could sit and listen to the progressive liberal uh, on, the, on the way to take, to take out Roman Reigns. That, that would be something. Boy, you know, listen, I've got a pretty good stomach for, you know, uh, uh, progressive ideas, and I'm always, but boy, I was starting to hit my limit there. That was, hey, he was pushing us closer to the right. You know what I mean? He really <laughs> I was. He was pushing boy, us away, man. that takes a lot. Yeah. That yeah. takes a lot. I can see why the fans can't stand him. That's true. Well, folks, up next, more of your listeners submitted questions, a.k.a. Ask Duke. But before we get to any of that, and speaking of what we can stomach, listen, barnyard cheese, okay? Barnyard cheese over in New York City. A New place, York City? Well, isn't that where the progressive liberal Daniel Richards says he wants to go? Yeah, well, he said you he know? wanted to end up there. And, he did. You know. Maybe he wants to try a Duke sandwich. Boy, you know what? Did you ever think about that? I don't know. I think that might be too far right for him. Oh, uh, well. he, needs a, he needs a left hook. Sure. From a from a Boston bad boy knuckle oh, sandwich is what he needs. It's a left hook. Give Do you me see, a get break. it? 
Get it? Listen. Come on. They have the figgy piggy. <laughs> they have the award winning wit. I want one of those. Those, those. I, You posted a picture of one of yeah, those. Yeah, do you see that thing? It was delicious. It has looking. everything. Oh, my goodness. I wish it was smell a vision. Ginger Roo. <laughs> Did they have uh, handcrafted lemonade. You name it. Salads, cheeses, meats. Oh. I, you know, I have a great idea for a show one day. We talked to Double D, right? We sure. bring all the, the gear down to the uh, to the shop. Yeah. And we do the show live from the shop. And here's the thing. The first one of us that folds and says, I've got to go eat. I can't stand it anymore. Uh, we'll have to have a good bet going. Like the other person has to uh, wear a Roman Reigns t-shirt oh. for the following month. Look at that. You know what I mean? Whoever can hold out without having to jump to a delicious sandwich. I'll put some sandwiches I will in front never of us. wear a Roman Reigns t-shirt. I don't know, but I don't think you can resist one of these sandwiches. Well, no one can resist a barnyard cheese, okay? So stop depriving yourself of deliciousness. Head over to barnyardcheese.com for more info. Enjoy. This is Micah Madrid, the Texas Women's Champion, and you're listening to Duke Loves Wrestling. You know, Boston Bad Boy, before we get started with Ask Duke, I got to let you know here, since you refuse to have Twitter. Well, yeah, I think it's idiotic. You, well, listen, Trump tweets enough for all of us. Well, listen. And you certainly are not far behind with your ridiculous onslaught of tweets day in and day out. All but I you're see, a pretty popular guy. Because it reposts to Facebook and I keep seeing it. That's right. Well, you've started quite the stir on Twitter. And, no. and, and Dingo is right in the middle no, of it please. here. I told you, okay. don't even bring this, this well, name up. I'm not even going to acknowledge it anymore because I made my peace with Dingo. And if he continues to have a problem with it, if he can, ha if he has a problem with unrequited love, that's on him. And I'm sorry, there's a lot of, you know what, there's a lot of 70s soft rock songs he can listen to oh my that will help soothe his soul. Stop it. Wait, listen, folks like Big Sam, who's all the way out in China, Matty B over in England, mm -hmm. Scotty over at Wrestler Weekly, yeah. you know, he's down south. Sure. Everyone is talking about Dingo calling really? out the Boston bad boy, really? and RJ Krasinski, who's probably your, your alter ego there. Please. Can you admit once and for all that you are RJ Krasinski? Did you know that RJ Krasinski is actually an anagram for Dingo Has No Life? Did you know if you rearrange the letters, that's what oh, it spells. Is that what it spells? Yeah. Wow. So I don't know if R.J. Krasinski is a real person. Part of me kind of thinks that because Dingo is in love with me, he invented R.J. Krasinski. Oh, my goodness. So that he could play both sides. Oh. You know, it's like one of those weird serial killer things. Admit that you're R.J. Krasinski. Admit I, it right if now. If I, listen, if okay. it would, nothing would that's give me. That's why you're terrorizing Dingo with this R.J. Krasinski greater account. pleasure. Nothing would give me greater pleasure than to admit that I. Cared about Dingo enough to waste one iota of my time, other than during this show, uh, even thinking about him. He calls you the Boston bad bully, just oh, so you wah, know. Okay, wah. that's what you, you know what are I call to him. Wah. Okay, this is a grown man. Uh, sure. This is a grown man. He's training for you. He's training. He's training for you, yeah, like he, Rocky. He, yeah, yeah. Okay, he's yeah, punching he, meat. He's doing the whole <laughs> yeah. nine yards. Listen, running the can stairs. I just say something? Punching meat's different from beating meat, and I think he's doing a lot more of the latter. <laughs> Okay, you're so disgusting. No, you're rude. disgusting. You no. disgusted me by even bringing Dingo up, and because of that, I like Dingo. Because of that, here, I like here. Dingo. Here's your question. Uh, here's your question. Here, that's why right. you get me so aggravated with Dingo. Why don't you chill out, man? What's 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 wrong with you? You like you're ripping up no, stuff. No, you know what? I we had a the, we had the a great poor interview. Intern's gonna have to pick that up. You now. know what? To hell with but that intern on his way out. By the Leave way, leave him alone. No, he's on his way out. I had a nice, we had a nice interview going. Sure. And then you got to bring up that D I N G O, and Bingo was his name of. <laughs> I'm going to call him Bingo. For, Don't that's call it. Dingo. New Bingo. name? No. Everybody, all the Boston Bad Boy Listen, fanatics out there. It's about his, his name. His name shall be Bingo. <sighs> And Bingo was his name of. I'm sorry. How Dingo. much is that doggy in the window, stop Bingo? It. Stop it right now. No. I'm not going to stop it. Because you know what? I'm actually in a good mood. I'm in a good mood. Okay. Because, you know, usually. I, uh, I I have my uh, well worked out theories about Vince McMahon's meddlings in the world. Oh, and it turns my out we actually have a happy story here because the first cracks of, in the armor are appearing around Vincent Q McMahon Kennedy. Why do you call Q? He has a K in his name, not a yeah. Q. I don't really give a shit what's in his name oh, because he doesn't really care about anybody else. But I thought it was really amazing when I was uh, doing a little research, as I do extensive. Research for this show. Here we go again. And I was—I noticed that um, Cody Rhodes has won Ring of Honor. We already talked about that, and I said that we were done with that. Well, Congratulations, but, Cody. Good sure. job. Good job, But it got Cody. me thinking, though, Whatever. because there's more to this story. 
there's more background here. And, and in order to understand anything and, and the reason why something is interesting, you have to dig a little bit deeper. You have to peel the onion back. You always and dig it, on the wrong stuff. And you ever notice that? When it involves Vince McMahon, oh boy. it's quite an onion that you have to dig through because it's it stinks. The, the deeper you go, the more it stinks. So let's, let, let's run through a little bit of this. Cody Rhodes comes from a lineage, a uh, wrestling royalty, one could say, right? You're the historian. Okay. Explain this to the people. Okay. Well, his father is the Hall of Famer, the American Dream, Dusty That's Rhodes. That's right. His brother. His brother is a future Hall of Famer, a gold dust, you know, Dustin That's Rhodes. That's right. So, yeah, that's a pretty strong family. So, Dusty Rhodes, the father. God rest his soul. God rest his soul. He came from a big independent scene. He did. He, he was the journeyman. Made his way to the WWF at the time. Well, I mean, I think it's disrespectful for you to say. I mean, he was with the NWA, yeah. and he was a champion and all that stuff, too. He's wrestled all over the place. That's right. Sure. So he finally goes to the WWF, which for a long time has been the top yeah, of the, the top of the top. And what happens when he gets there? This is a guy who was a rough and tumble from down south. He gets to the top of the heap after taking his hits. And what does Vince McMahon do to him? What does he do? As far, he made him entertaining. That's what he did to him. Made him. He enter made him entertaining. You find okay? you find a large Ma you find a large man in a in a in a in a unitard with polka dots on. You find that entertaining. Why do you have to? Do I this? find that demoralizing. Why do you have to? Do I this? find that a deliberate attempt by Vince McMahon to make sure no one gets a peg above him. He took a guy that was a legend at the time, and. Emasculated him. All right, by all right. putting him in a yellow and black polka dotted with a goofy hat. We're well and past the whole thing. We're, we're we're past that. Okay. All right. You know what? You're right. You're right. You're right. We are well past yeah, that. Thank Let's you. move on to the next generation. Dustin Rose, Gold Dust, Gold Dust, Gold Dust. Whose gimmick, from what I can tell, is based on Liberace on a bad day. <laughs> Come on. He's got the the shimmery jumpsuit again. The jumpsuit, the shimmery, the gold paint. There's a lot of homoeroticism, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. You know, do whatever you want to do. But at the time, in the 90s, some may call it groundbreaking. I think that Vince, given his non inability to be groundbreaking with women and anything else, he was using it as a derogatory thing by making this guy want to lick his opponents no. and doing all this hyper-sexualized stuff Just in the stop ring. Stop it. Stop it. So... Here we got dad now emasculated, son uh, borderline with the emasculation. You know, he was a good wrestler. There was, we're not talking about skill. We're talking about Vince saying this is the gimmick. I don't care how good of a wrestler you are. I'm going to make fun of you. I'm, you're not, I'm not going to be laughing with you. I'm going to be laughing at you. So then what happens? Younger brother comes into the, into the scene. Younger brother comes along Cody Rhodes. Let's talk about his gimmick for a minute. I want you to, again, wrestling historian, tell me now at, at, at step three what we're at. Well, I mean, he had a few gimmicks. You know, he was just Cody Rhodes, and then mm -hmm. he became dashing Cody mm -hmm. Rhodes, and then finally they settled on dashing. Stardust. Actually, dashing. Yeah, dashing, just, meaning a, a gadabout, a handsome fellow. Handsome fellow. A dandy. And they took that. A they, dandy. And they turned that into. And they turned it into. Stardust. Stardust. Oh, there we go. There we go. But that was a fun gimmick. S Stardust was fun. Yeah, Again, oh, and fun for who? Fun for who? That went over like a fart in church. Oh, oh That gimmick had no staying power. Disrespectful. Had no staying power. And you know what? It was just a ripoff of the gimmick they gave to his brother. So not even... He's not even putting any effort into That's insulting not even people. Fair. That's not even fair. Vince McMahon can't even put effort into his own insults. That's not even Which fair. is just doubly insane. That's not fair. But here's where the good part comes in. Here's where the part where I'm happy about this story. Because Cody Rhodes bucks the system somehow he manages to get out from under the thumb of vince mcmahon as we know who likes to trap people into contracts he got the old man he got the older brother and you know what this kid got smartened up and he slipped out and what has happened since he slipped out from underneath the vice grip like leathery hand of Vince McMahon. Well, I don't like the way you're characterizing it, but as we covered and run the ropes, he's now the Ring of Honor mm -hmm. World Ring Champion. Ring of Honor which, World Champion. Congratulations. So what? He stood up for his family name. That's what. He stood up, and guess what? More people need to start standing up because you know what? Vince McMahon's ass must be so chapped when he turned on the TV and saw that. 
He must have been going irate. I bet he threw something in his office. No. You think he cares about Cody Rhodes? Absolutely. He let him out he's of his pe- contract. He's petty. He let him out of his he's contract. He's vicious and petty. Oh, no, stop He's that vicious right and petty, and but, he... It, it fills me with such joy. I would pay a large sum of money to have seen his face when this young kid left, got out from under. I don't know how he did it. I'm going to dig into this a little more. I want to know don't how dig. he did it don't because dig. more people needs to tar- need to start doing this. Daniel Bryan needs to no, start doing this. No, no, Other no, wrestlers no. who have been pinned down. No. And a lot of the no. female wrestlers no. need to start doing this, if only to have leverage over Vince McMahon because... It's it's so beautiful and it's the it's the tower it's the leaning tower of pizza just starting to tilt just you a little bit. bit. You think people and you know are really happens? trying to leave the WWE? You know what? No one wants it's to leave about, the big time. No, it's not okay? about it's not about leaving. Cody Rhodes, he's a snot nosed punk. He left because he thought he could do better elsewhere. And he did. And, and well, he did. And he did. How long uh, is that going to last? Doesn't matter. Okay? Doesn't how long matter. is that going to last? Victory That's what I is victory. Know. Right. Here's what I want to know. Here's and here's He'll my here's back. my thought. He'll if, be back. If Cody Rhodes can break away from the 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 mind control of Vince McMahon, there's hope for you. Give me a break. There's even hope for someone no. like you who no. is nothing more than a corporate shill. So I'm going to enjoy this victory because I know it's only the beginning of a of a massive leverage campaign against Vincent L. McMahon. I'm done and with this. it's just I'm it's a beautiful wait, thing. Wait, wait, it's poetry. Wait, wait. No, when you start talking like this, I'm done. Okay. Well, you are because you have nothing no, left to say. No, I, I don't like what you're and, saying and right now. And here's what the, the ship is taking like on saying. water, and thank, it's going to be a beautiful ride. Thank you to the progressive liberal Daniel Richards for joining us this week. Folks, head over to Facebook, head over to Twitter, type in Duke Loves Wrestling. I'm done with the Boston bad boy disrespecting Vince McMahon like this. <laughs> Listen. It's just disrespectful. you got to see the light. Cody you, ride my, you have to ride is, my progressive liberal wave. first of all. Hey, and listen, he's lucky. Champion talks, no. man. You have no idea.